Today's the day for the Pride Parade for Portland 2015. We're going to see about 10 floats. We're going to see a lot of walking groups, a lot of church groups. Um, the Portland um, Bookmobile is going to be in the parade and a lot of music. The crowd is usually in the thousands, close to 10,000 for the whole day, and probably about 500 people in the parade this year. The purpose of Pride is just to get together, show that we're here, and help the community. It's evolved from a very small, small parade and festival one day to 10, day to 10 days of events, with 25 events going on. Take a careful look to see what that globe is made out of. Which, by the way, you can it takes an entire after year. After we get done here this week, we'll take a few weeks off and start planning for next year. My involvement is I'm on the parade team and I do photography for the entire event. The volunteers are all in the, the yellow vest this year, so we have about 150 to 200 volunteers. It takes a lot of people to carry the flag and the monitors and do all the fun stuff. On the platform today we have some celebrity judges. They're judging the floats, the walking teams, and doing commentary so everybody knows who they are and what group they're with. The judges judge the different walking teams, the different floats. They hand out awards at the festival later on. The big one is always from Wild Burritos, the restaurant. They plan this for about eight months. Good thing you have those fans. It's kind of hot out here. And we have somebody getting proposed to today. So there's going to be a marriage proposal right in front of us that nobody else knows about. <laughs> Two people know about. I want to make a quick announcement. There's going to be something happening right here. Catch this. Lou, take the stage, please. She is currently proposing to her girlfriend, Teresa. The highlight of the parade every year is the 900 foot flag, handmade by a bunch of guys at Blackstones and cost well over 10,000. And it goes 900 feet, it's 24 feet wide, and it's just amazing. So that is truly the spirit of pride. What happens after the parade, we all meet in Deering Oaks, that's where the parade ends. And then there's a four hour festival with comedians, singers, family areas, beer garden, a little bit of everything for everybody. If people want to get involved, you can go to prideportland.org. We plan all year long, so you can get involved in any of the teams.